This is a tour of our 2018 Micro Mini 1700 BH. So we park it at home, <laughs> just fits between two houses. And my husband has to uh, back it in here, which he does a great job. And though it has faded a tiny bit, it really has stood up pretty well. We did, it does have the gel coat and we got the extra protection on it. And I don't know if that made a difference, but seems to be doing well. So again, 1700 BH. I'm gonna take you inside. So we keep our dinette as a, like a lounge area, kind of a little couch. Pretty much all the time, we rarely put it into couch format. Down here we store our shoes in two little bins. And then I'll just go right to the middle, show you how we store. This is our, our dog's <laughs> things, her toys, her food. If we have medication, always take your dog's vaccination records. and she wanted to get in on it. So say hi. And this is where we keep our towels. So I always keep enough bath towels and uh, beach towels, plus hand towels, washcloths, all of that, and some for the dog. And then we come around here and we have the bed. It's a full size bed, nothing fancy on the bedding, but we like it this way. We like our own cover, so <laughs> that's why they're separated. And then up here, we store our clothes. So my husband's are here. We have little bins. We put them in, just slide out. And this is open all the way back here. So we can put more back there. So that, that helps a lot. And then I put up some hooks here for hats. Command strips are your friend when you have an RV. We put up some little fairy lights up here and across the dinette top up here in case whenever we're boondocking then we have lighting we don't have to rely on battery power um here's our little map of where we've been so far hey there's ginger kyd woohoo <laughs> over here is the kitchen area. So we have a small fridge. Um, the longest trips we've been on is three weeks and we're able to make it in the small fridge. And then sometimes we'll bring a cooler if we really need to. Under the sink storage, I have towels, a few pots and pans. Back here in the back is like the essential, kind of your junk drawer at home where it's got the scissors and tape and batteries and more command strips if we need them. And we keep one towel here. I have another towel up top. And then in here, down below, we've got cleaners like laundry soap and detergent, uh, excuse me, um, hand soap, um, dishwashing soap. That's what I'm trying to say. And then I put this in since we don't have drawers in the 1700 BH. This works really well. Put baggies and things in there. Other utensils, forks, knives, spoons. We also use plastic ones, but if we ever want those, we have those as well. Then up here is the burner and my husband built this wood cover is when we have shore power, we rarely use it actually. And this way it gives us more countertop space and we'll put our coffee pot there or whatever else we want. We don't use our microwave a lot, but we do use it. And we keep pots in there. And up above is most of our dishes. We use a lot of paper plates, but we have regular plates as well. And then our coffee cups. Everything you can find that is collapsible, go for it. We even have a collapsible strainer and collapsible um, measuring cups and measuring spoons. Uh, bowls, everything is fit in there. This helps a lot to have double-decker space. And I, can, I need to do some more organizing. It's not great, perfect, but it works. This is where our other towel is hung. I made just made these out of regular towels. <laughs> and put the little loop on it. This is our pantry. 
We have not packed up yet to go. We're leaving tomorrow, but um, this helps a lot. He also installed these, so you're not digging way in the back to try and get stuff out. We have it on two of the shelves and on the top, I have another one of those little racks so we can put extra things up there. I put a mirror on the back of the bathroom door so we, and then hooks up here for our coats. 1700 BH is, as you could probably guess, a bunkhouse. Um, our son has pretty much outgrown it, but we love it for storage. So this was a privacy curtain before, but it's still, we still use it. And when we open the window up here, sometimes we'll leave it open at night and then it gets cold and I just close the curtain instead of climbing up and closing the window. But provides lots of extra storage for all kinds of extra doodads or our, our recycling bin there. I put some hooks up there. Um, have some more here and this is where we put our backpacks. And then it's great for a walking sticks, tripod, etc. Down below, this is our extra bins that we put things like our cameras and extra cosmetic things that I have. Back here we store, these are just a little dog fence that snap together really quickly when we're uh, camping and I just store them in the bunk because I can get them through that back door from the outside. Down below we keep baggies. Um, well I'll show you on the outside but tons of stuff. Uh, let's see, did I miss anything? Ah, oh, of course, the bathroom. Let's go check out the bathroom. So we've done uh, some mods in here as well. The 1700 BH has nothing in terms of a medicine cabinet. And my husband built this. It's mounted to the wall because this wall is just the bunkhouse. So we didn't have to worry about putting screws through a you know, an outside wall. They have shelves inside. So our toilet paper, actually this is the original toilet paper that was mounted on the wall and it fit, he left the back open so it just fit right over. And then um, first aid things, I have this little doodad that has lots of pockets and I put it up, instead of laying it down like you would in your bathroom, I just put it up against the back and stuff things in there. Then this one, I hate packing and unpacking all these little things all the time. So this is now attached with Velcro, so I can leave things like this, sunscreen, lotion, bug spray, out and not have to put them away. Then we put hooks in for when our towels are wet. Um, put a mirror up. Uh, ah, shower curtain. Well, here's one thing, a different shower bar. So this pops out like this. So it gives you all this extra space when you're in the shower and you're not feeling cramped, but it easily pushes back. So it's out of the way when you need it to be. And then shower, we keep our hamper in here. And then I just bought this and mounted it. This is a permanent mount, but we figured people, if we ever, we're always thinking in terms of resell. So if we ever did resell, I think someone would want to use that. And then this way I can keep all my shower products in here. Just put a little bungee so they won't fall out. Haven't taken a trip with, oh, actually we did. We took a short trip and it worked fine. Just no long trip. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, the, we put our broom back here, a little trash can. And you know what I use? People can never find a trash can that fits. This is basically just a little container that you put cereal in <laughs> and took the lid off. What you're seeing is just a bag in the side. That's why there's a little kitty, it's just a little bag. And it fits perfectly down here. Uh, oh, I also mounted the air freshener because the hubby doesn't like to reach all the way to the ground when, you know, there's stuff in the toilet. So, sorry, TMI. And let's see, I think, that's it, did I forget anything? So if you have any questions, let me know. We put, oh, have these little up here. So again, we have it quick, easy reach for washing our hands. Some people get like, oh, there's no sink in the bathroom, but 
people. You just walk out here and you wash your hands. It's okay. It's not like we don't wash our hands. So, oh, this is it. I also mounted all the remotes because I can't stand all that clutter on the counter. And they're just Velcro and they are, um, again, use command strips, command hooks, more command hooks down here. It's great for things like keys. During COVID, we always hang in our masks. And, you know, labels help a lot. This particular one didn't have any labels and it's kind of a pain. And so that helps. And I guess that's it. So I hope you have enjoyed this and it was helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Let me know what other things you may have done in your camper and happy travels as you explore new heights. Bye-bye. I mentioned that I was gonna tell you about the outside bin storage. So here it is. This is the door to the bunk. And here's the uh, fences that I was talking about. So you can see right in. And then down here, yeah, the garage. So the levelers, there's a jack chairs, extra propane, our little fire pit. It goes all the way back, just like the regular length of the bed. So it's super helpful. And then we have, there's a bin down there in the front, of course, and the bin on this side that I didn't show you, but right in front of the front door. And that's a pass through, if you didn't already know. So I don't know if it's locked right now. Oh, it's open. He keeps his grill, goes all the way through, and all his other little doodads, <laughs> things. Okay, so I think that's it. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching.